Okay, so here's the deal. If you saw Love and Hip Hop New York Season 6 Reunion Part 1, then you already know that your girl Cardi B went off on Peter Guns. She was talking all sorts of crap to him. She was being a hypocrite. She had just went from saying that she sleeps with married men for money to basically saying that Peter Guns is an ain't shit man who just wants to sleep with Amina and Tara and give them babies and nothing else. And that she that he doesn't pay their rent and all this other stuff. But yet she had some man, possibly a married man, paying her rent for six months. A lot of this went over a lot of people's heads that she was just talking about committing adultery for profit. And she said that she's done it with a lot of men. She said, you know, a lot of men. And I'm sitting up there like, <laughs> wow, you know, a lot of a lot of people didn't even hear that part because they just heard a woman talking down to Peter Guns, and they were okay with that. But I want you women to just think about this for a second. Would you want Cardi B sleeping with your husband or your boyfriend for profit? I'm just asking because a lot of women seem to agree with Cardi and thought that she had some really intelligent things to say like they thought that she was like freaking Einstein up there they were just like oh my god Cardi get him yes and like oh like they had this epiphany based off of what she said but they obviously weren't listening to everything that she said she said that she sleeps or has slept with married men so could you imagine the money in your household going to Cardi B so that she could sleep with your husband just something to think about. But anyways, she ripped Peter Guns a new one on part one of the Love and Hip Hop New York season six reunion show. Well, Peter posted this selfie of Cardi and all he had to say about it was number one, at Cardi B apologized. Number two, I apologize. Number three, she's my son's age. Number four, she's from the Bronx. Number five, the end. Also, Cardi posted a picture of them at the reunion show where she said, quote, us Brock's people always getting into something, but it's nothing but tough love. I sincerely wish Peter Guns the best. And as many kids he has got word in the streets, he's not a deadbeat to none. And that's some real Nika shit. That's like the N word with two K's. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I don't care what anybody says. I love Tara. End quote. So yeah, there you go. I, I guess we have a happy ending here. They went from fighting on stage. You know, they both had a an exchange of words. And for the record, I'm going to make a new video about all of these women basically backing Cardi B up when she talks about sleeping with married men for money. I'm going to call out Remy Ma. I'm calling out Yandy. Hell, I'm even calling out Mariah Lynn. And y'all know I love me some Mariah Lynn. And y'all know that I'm scared that Remy Ma will shoot me right in the stomach. But I'm going to call out all of them that in, in those heifers in the audience, too, that sat up there and agreed with Cardi B, who just said that she slept with or sleeps with married men for money. I'm going to be. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to watch what I say in that video, because I, I feel like I, I'm feeling a little bit heated at the top of my head. I feel like I'm going to blow a gasket. But anyways, this video is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels, visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com, follow me on Twitter, at Meat Magazine.